Hey everyone, great to see you back on our channel. Ever since ChatGPT hit the scene, it's like AI has just exploded they are popping up everywhere. But the big talk's all about Google's Gemini and Microsoft's Copilot, right? So you're probably wondering which one's the best for me? No worries, this video's gonna dive deep into both, comparing them side by side, so you can get the full scoop and pick the perfect AI for your needs. Let's get into it! What is Microsoft Copilot? So what's Microsoft Copilot? Let me break it down for you. It's baked right into Microsoft 365 apps, and it's been on the scene since 2023. Copilot stepped in to take over for Cortana you know, Microsoft's old virtual assistant that's kinda yesterday's news now. Now, the secret sauce behind Copilot is OpenAI GPT-3.5 and the even brainier GPT-4. These aren't your average large language models, They've got some serious chops when it comes to crunching data and chatting away. Imagine plugging in that smart talk right into all the stuff you do at work like your schedule. Email those never-ending documents or killer spreadsheets. And here's the kicker, if you live and breathe Microsoft stuff like Outlook, Word, PowerPoint and Excel Copilot's got you covered. It's like having an AI buddy that's totally in sync with how you or your team get things done. Cool right? What is Google Gemini? Alright let's talk Google Gemini now. Get this, Gemini is Google's latest genius AI chatbot that stepped in and said move over to Google's Bard back in 2024. This brainy tech is fueled by what Google boasts as their top shelf language models the Gemini LLM crew. Now Gemini's got a similar game plan to Copilot, cozying up with all your work files. We're talking docs, slides, spreadsheets and even your inbox right there within Google's own workspace. As I'm spilling the beans, Gemini is still getting its gears meshed into these apps. For now it's all about whipping up text and cooking up images. But let me tell you, even with just that, Gemini's got the gift of the gab for all your creative wordsmithing needs. It's like your personal muse for drafting up anything from emails to epic stories. Microsoft Copilot vs Google Gemini. Alright, let's fire up Gemini and Copilot at the same time and see what they got. Now Gemini's got this super sleek look that's a breeze to use whether you're just starting out or you've been around the block with AI before. It's pretty similar to ChatGPT, with the chat bar chilling at the bottom and your past chats on the side. There's a handy settings button to tweak your experience, like switching themes or checking out extensions, and you get to choose between the regular or the advanced version depending on what you need help with. Moving over to Copilot, it's got a few more bells and whistles, it might take a minute to get your bearings. It's got the same kind of chat setup, with added flair you can pick your chat style and go deep with detailed prompts if you need. You're not just stuck with one type of chatbot you've got options for travel, fitness, cooking you name it. Let's put their image generating prowess to the test of both AI systems offer remarkable capabilities to create visuals from mere textual descriptions. But how do they fare with something more complex? Here we have Google's Gemini trying to create an image from a complicated prompt, and it seems to struggle. On the flip side, Microsoft's Copilot handles the same challenge with ease, crafting detailed images without a hitch. But wait, Gemini isn't bowing out yet. With its innovative feature allowing any image to be used as a prompt for modifications, Gemini pulls back into the race. Copilot hasn't caught up on this front. And there we have it folks, it's a tie at one all. Now let's delve into the depths of each AI knowledge. Copilot seems to lag with outdated databases but Gemini, Gemini taps into the fresh, ever-updating well of the web's data. Inquiring about the latest events nets us correct responses from both thanks to their web integration. It looks like it's a draw in the knowledge department. Here's a feature that's created quite the buzz of Gemini's harmony with Google's ecosystem. Whether it's summarizing a YouTube video or an email it does so succinctly. The test with a YouTube video summary. Copilot seems lost at sea without this feature, but Gemini. Concise bullet points make it a clear victor in this round. Plus, we gave them a whirl on Microsoft's Copilot feature in Microsoft 365 apps and also on the Gemini and Google Docs. And I gotta say they really did a bang up job. So which AI suits you best, Microsoft Copilot or Google Gemini? If you're all about creating text, images, spreadsheets, or presentations in Microsoft 365 apps and need some daily assistance within that ecosystem, then Microsoft Copilot is the way to go. But if your focus is mainly on writing or editing creative content, especially in Google Docs, then Gemini is worth a shot. 
We've witnessed an incredible clash, but it's not about winning or losing. The real deal is to pick the AI that suits your needs and that you'll really put into action. So take the time to figure out which one aligns with your use case and give it a go. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome AI videos. And hey, if there's any AI app you're curious about, drop a comment or share your favorite one. Catch you in the next video.